welcome back to my channel and if you are new thank you so much for stopping by i hope you do subscribe like and comment that way you're not missing out on any content there are some new things coming about within the couple, next couple of weeks so y'all definitely don't want to miss out on that today we are going to be doing a collab video this collab video is about love about positivity good vibes anything that makes you happy okay so first thing first we want to go ahead and pick out what nail i want my design on um i think i want to go ahead and do a solid color first with the blue and i'm going to do it on this nail right here and this is just going to be the first coat because of time um I'm trying to cut down on the video's length, so I will apply the second coat off camera because it's the same thing that I'm doing now with the first coat. But I will show you guys the outcome of the second coat, okay? Um, if you hear the video in the background, I'm supporting my virtual nail family by allowing their videos to play. That way they can get some watch time, reach their goals. So the next one, um, I know this probably had nothing to do with this collection, but I love pink. As you can tell, everything pink. So I'm going to go ahead and incorporate a pink color nail in here and since it doesn't really go I'm going to go ahead and put it on the end at the pinky well I might put it right here I think I'm going to just put it right there and these are all OPI products or should I say nail polish That's our first coat. Then how do I want to do this? How do I am going to be doing an ombre nail, so one of the nails are only going to have one coat on it. So this white I'm using is China Glaze. Let's see if that would better. Okay. 
Okay, so this is so much better. And now let's go ahead and have some fun. And I'm gonna use my little key stand for the single one. So, we're going to do this one and this one is going to be ombre. So, the thumb and then this one right here. So, let's go ahead and take that off. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm putting that on. It's on stand. Doing the ombre now on this one. So I'm going to use this. Um, I'll try to use this one since it is stick and then this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a natural beach theme. Um, let me move this up so you can actually see. There we go. Okay, so I'm also going to do a beach theme. Um, nail on here. So the sand, as you can see, is going to be the bottom, and then we're going to have the water, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. And one thing about these sponges, I love how it doesn't really soak in the polish. It still gives you time to where you can still um, apply it. And I just go over it a couple times. Then I'm going to apply the light. And with these, even though it doesn't soak up much, you still want to try to work as quickly as possible. Last thing is the blue. Okay. And so then we're going to go ahead and dip it on. I'm going to make sure it gets all the nail. And so sometimes you do have to like press it on to get the initial and then you just stamp it on. Look how gorgeous that is. And then you just redo it. So you have the bone. And then I'm going to use the China Glaze White. Okay. And 
ne, ne, ne. And I think I kind of went too high with this sand, but we'll make it work like always. Okay, and then we're going to stamp it on. And this time, since I already have my design on there, I'm just going to pat it on. There we go. See, and then that's what it's going to look like. So as you can see, the sand, the water, and then when the tide comes through, it has that white and it goes into the sand. That's why I love this particular design because it actually looks like the water. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and put that down. So I'm just going to take this one off, let it sit for a little bit. And I'm going to put this one on. And I'm going to do the same thing by applying... The brown, the white, and then the blue. And and even though the nail is already white, we want it to be a sleep seamless transition, so I'm still gonna apply the white on there. And my nails my nail beds and my my natural nails are so way to film where they used to go crazy with the nails. Now, before I knew all what I know now, Oops. um, looking back on things, they oh. So the China Glaze one is kind of like really runny. So just be careful about that. And then now I'm doing the blue. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and put it on. And remember, we're going to go ahead and just press it on. That way we can at least get our template. And now the nail doesn't want to come off. Or the nail is trying to come off. Let's see. So it's always trying to, uh, um, I don't know why it didn't want to come off, but we, see, we have our base. I don't really like that base. So let me see. Add some more blue tack. Let's try that. Let's see if that works. So as you can see, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But you just improvise and you keep it moving. So there we go with that one. And I'm just going to go ahead and press on it since we're going to have to redo that one anyways. So let's try this again. And if anything, I might need to change my my sponge because I do see like now all of a sudden there's like pink spots in there. But we'll see. Be careful with the china glaze. Okay. 
paint and then we got the blue. Okay, so then let's go ahead and try it again. Um, I would say let's try the padding method, but there we go. There we go. There you go. Look at that beach. We're not quite done yet. Um, what I'm gonna do? Things is gonna mess up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply a top coat. Look at all my hands. Like look at this. So, anyways, with that top coat, I wanna go ahead and seal the print, the ombre. Before I apply, you know, st the stickers or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and seal this and then I'll come right back to you guys. Alright guys, so this is what the second coat looks like. Um, one thing I can say is about the China Glaze, you want to just be careful because that white is very wetty. But you can see it's opaque in two coats. So now I'm gonna apply the top coat on these. And you don't want to use a lot because you don't want it to wrinkle. And one thing I like about this is that it doesn't have to be perfect because the beach is not perfect. So you will see that there's some like holes in there, it grinds, you know, it blends together, but the beach isn't perfect. So it doesn't even matter. Technically, it's not a mess up, right? Alrighty, so while these two dry in the lamp, I am using the Model 1's um, top coat. Right now, that is one of my favorites, other than that, I'm really. So I'm putting these in the lamp. For 60 seconds. That was all done drying. So let me go ahead and take those out the oven. And look how gorgeous these are. Like, these are gorgeous, right? So, unfortunately, I'm still not done though. So, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and apply these stickers. Um, or the decal, self-adhesive decals. But I'm going to go ahead and take off these gloves and throw them away. You never want to reuse gloves um, just for sanitary reasons unless you're working on yourself. But I like to get in the habit of only using gloves one time. So I'm throwing those away. I'm going to go ahead and open this. If I can figure out how to open it. There it goes. And these are perfect. So take me to the beach. As y'all know, that's what I love, the beach. 
So real quick, um, also I got these from Sally's as well. The uh, Cena collection. Um, basically you apply your favorite nail polish, wait for polish to dry completely, blah, blah. Lift adhesive nail art from sheet with tweezer, place on nail and press down to secure, blah, blah. And then you can remove these with nail polish remover. Sorry. So with these, I think one of them, I like the drinks. Um, I like the starfish and the tree. Which tree? I don't know. I don't know which one might be bigger. I think I like this tree. Okay, so then I'm just gonna peel them off and I'm gonna go ahead and place them. That's one of them I thought. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place it up here. And press it down. And then, um, let's see what else. I don't know what else to put. Let's do the chair. But see, the chair I think I'm going to do on here. Let's do a starfish. A starfish will put coming into the water. Look at that. Nice. So then for this one, we're going to do the chair. And this is how I am on the beach. So we're gonna do the chair here. Come on. I like to be close to the water. So. And then I like to be drinking my pina colada. And then I'm going to place it right here. Look at that. I feel like... I know. What do y'all guys think? Is this okay or do y'all think it's too plain? I don't know. I might not do. I think it might be too much. Because it will look like this. What do you guys think? But I do want to put glitter on this one. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put glitter on the pink. Make that stand out. And then silver one. And you got big ones, small ones.
I'm trying to get some big ones on here. But they don't want to stick. There we go. There we go, guys. But I feel like it's still not complete. But. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and join these with the other ones. And this is how the collection looks. And this is my nail designs for the collab, which is love. Good vibes and positivity. And I hope y'all do enjoy. This is how I enjoy good vibes. I feel like the beach is good vibes to me. You can't be mad at the beach. I love pink. I love glitter. That's why I was part of the Glitter Girls collab. So that's there. And white is just so chic. And it brings positivity. Purity. White. So thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a great day. Bye. Y'all already know what time it is. Go check your girl out on these social media sites. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also hit click the notification bell. That way you're not missing out on any new content. Stay nailed up, Nail Squad, and y'all see you in the next video.